Please, I would like us to move forward. 
Woman of God, you can come and sit in the front here. Praise the Lord. Please, I would like us to move closer. Please, I don't like the space in between. Please, if you could move closer from the back so that there will be more space behind. Move closer. Move to the front, please. Please, I want everybody to move to the front and not to sit in the front, front space, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. I think, um, my dear, I think you can go close to a woman of God. I think she will need you in case she needs to talk to you. So that she, she doesn't need me to look far. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise the living God. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I am so grateful that you all are here. Amen. So glad you all Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you invite people, it is people that love sin. They make out their time. To come to the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you all for coming out. Great man of God. Pastor Fim, I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I welcome you. This woman of God, she's so loving. She loves the Lord so much that whenever you go, she's doing anything, she invites you. And from there, she links you up with other men and women of God. Praise the Lord. Through her, I got to know some men, men and women of God, you know, that are here, women abroad. So put up your hand for her. Put up your hand. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful to the woman after God has. Amen. Amen. The David of our generation. Amen. I love you so much, woman of God. Amen. You're truly, truly a woman after God has. Amen. I love her because she obeys the Lord. Amen. No matter how difficult it is, she obeys the Lord. Amen. And such kind of people Amen. we should honor. Amen. Very prayerful woman. Amen. If you want the world to fall down, Call her. Amen. Tell her. Call her. Amen. When she begins to pray, Buddhas are appear from heaven. Amen. And begin to put down the works of Jericho. Amen. So we glorify you for your life. Amen. Let's put out the hand to the Lord. Amen. I also thank you so much, Apostle Hans, for coming. It's a great privilege, you know. Yeah. People may be wondering that we are having two cameras here. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why is because that one is live. The the is that this Christian network. Praise the living God. And this world is also home and abroad. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are getting double double blessings today. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know God, I thank you that you gave me the opportunity. Because it is through this man of God and the lovely wife behind him, beside him, that I was able to share my encounter, the crossover encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. I was favored and blessed to be taken to heaven more than 23 times. Amen. And it's through this man of God that the message was released. Amen. If you check the Facebook page, my, my Facebook page, the, the, the encounter is the praise of the living God. So I bless you, let me the Lord bless you, man of God. Amen. He carries the kingdom of God with all his heart. And as, as, as well as the woman of God here beside him, the lovely, lovely, beautiful wife. Oh my God, I love her so much. Anytime I call her to speak to her, Mamma Mia. We always inspire one another. Praise the Lord. She has a way of inspiring me. Amen. And I have a way of inspiring her. Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. Shall we put the Lord hands together for the Lord? And also, my beloved minister Rosemary. 
Minister Rosemary. Praise the Lord. That is a bulldozer to the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh my God, like the Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 12, 28. He said the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence will take it by force. Yes. This woman should take it by fire by thunder. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I love her so much. Amen. The Lord opened the way and the Lord said, I want you to be with her. I want you to support her. Praise the Lord. Amen. And as a prophet of God, when the Lord speak, I obey. Amen. Praise Amen. the living God. Amen. I also want to acknowledge our evangelists here. Evangelist Sheila, Mama Mia. <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> if you're talking of the like a child of our generation, that's the woman sitting down here. <laughs> Shall we put our hands to the Lord? Praise the Lord for her. <laughs> Amen. 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 And I thank you all for coming out here. My minister May Rosemary all the way from the Hague. I thank you all. And my daughter from all the way from France. Anytime we have hour of grace, she came all the way. Can you stand up and let's Say God bless her for coming. Bless you, Can you stand up? Amen. Amen. Shall we say God bless her for coming? Amen. And God bless all of us for coming as well. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Abia. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. Minister Roy, oh, NS, thank you so much. I love you so much. High priest, thank you. Every one of us, oh my interpreter, oh Minister, every one of us, I thank you. Praise the Lord. We don't have much time now. I will introduce my uh, son in the Lord. Because this is what we are being saved. You know, to serve in the kingdom of God. I don't believe in, you know, you being, you know, on top all the time. You need to give people that are coming up chance to grow. Soms moet je ook mensen laten komen die moeten groeien. In Nigeria, they give they, they, there's, a, there's a name of a boss called the young shall grow. There's a there's a there's a spreuk that the young there's a young shall grow. That the young shall grow. So we need to give the young chance to grow. Soms moet de jongeren leren om te groeien. So uh, our beloved uh, minister here is going to take us through the sermon. En hij gaat ons door de dienst leiden. Very short, short, short sermon. A klein dienst. And then now we come during the prophetic declaration. Praise the living God. Then I come with the prophetic word for the family. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands in the hands of the Lord? And Mr. Dante, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you, my dear. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I just have a song to give. Ik wil een lied voor jullie gaan zingen. If this is your presence, if this is your power, if this is your God, Lord, Larry, if this is your moment, if this is your glory, if this is your power, Lord. Let it ring. If this is your glory, if this is your power, if this is your power, if this is your moment, love. Let it ring. Let it ring. It is the right time that children of God stand up and take their step. Amen. Take their full control. Amen. It is the right time we, we, we stand boldly to declare the word of God with aggressiveness. Amen. Because uh, I, I find it these days, 
the people of the world they have more privilege than the, 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 the believers. Dat het lijkt alsof de mensen uit de wereld meer privilege hebben dan de christenen. You will see a believer will stand up and say, I don't want to go there because I'm scared. Mm. And the people of the world will just go there boldly without they don't even consider not what gives them that that mindset that nothing will happen to them. A believer, a believer is supposed to walk to any place, any time, any day. Een gelovige moet overal naartoe kunnen gaan because, op elk moment. Uh, because he or she know Omdat hij of zij weet who he is. wie hij because is. Because we are created in the image and likeness of God. Want wij zijn geschapen aan het beeld van God. When we are created in the image and likeness of God, you are God of your own. Amen. Je bent God op jezelf als je dat you, weet. You, you can decree a word mm -hmm. and it will manifest. Amen. Je kan woord zeggen het manifesteert zich. Because it is written omdat het geschreven staat. Thou shalt decree a thing. Omdat wij dingen moeten verklaren. En het zal zich manifesteren. En het zal zich manifesteren. Omdat het licht van God op jou schijnt. You don't have to doubt the word of God. Je moet geen twijfel over de woord van God. Even before you were born, the word of God was has already been there. Voordat jij was geboren, de woord van God was daar. En als jij dood gaat, dan zal het woord van God er nog steeds zijn. So, brethren, today we we're going to go to a short time, but we don't really have time. We hebben niet zoveel tijd, dus we gaan een korte dienst hebben. We will be looking at Who is God? We are looking at who God is, and uh, we will be looking at what can God do. Mm. And what can God for us do? And when is God close up to you, or when are you close up to God? And when is God dicht by you? And we will really find out these days that people say devil, devil, mm. demon, demon. And then many people say devil, 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 and demon, demon. But in the world we live these days, I don't really think the devil is not the problem. Maar dat is niet het probleem in deze wereld. The problem is we the children of God we don't know our right in the Lord. Wij zijn het probleem we weten onze rechten niet. Because if you know your right in the Lord. Want als je het recht weet in de Lord. The scripture has already told for told you that the principality they have been conquered already. Amen. We weten dat we zo bij overwinning al hebben. We are already triumphant. We zijn al getriumfd. We hebben al triumfd. So don't allow the enemy to come and say. It is not truth. Dus je moet niet de duivel toelaten te zeggen dat het niet waar is. So whenever it says it's not truth, please, if you don't know what to say, als het in je gedachten komt dat het niet waar is, try yes and try to control your fear. Amen. Ga je controle over je vrees hebben. Because when you don't know what to say and you 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 keep into what he's saying, then you become a prey. Want als je luistert naar wat hij zegt, dan ga je twijfelen. All right, we're going to go to our first king. We gaan naar het boek 1 Koningen. Chapter 18. Hoofdstuk 18. We will be reading from. From verse 18 to 25. Verse 18 to 25. We all know the story of Elijah. We can all know the story of Elijah. How he stood before Ahab and declared the word and said, "Before the God I serve." And he said to Ahab, "There shall not be dew or rain for two or three years until I say so." And he said, "It shall not rain for three years until I say so." You will imagine what gave this man this confidence to to walk to a king and say, "Look, this nation, you guys have been rebelling before the Lord." Wat gaf hem zoveel het gevoel dat hij wist wat hij zei? But I want to prove to you that the Lord that reigned controls the affairs of men. Amen. Want God heeft controle over de dingen van de mensen. So we 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 are going to read for First King 18. We gaan naar 1 Koning 18. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Sorry, actually I'm not used to bringing myself down, but the Lord is in control. Amen. <laughs> All right. Okay. First King 18. Yeah. First King. First King 18. Let's let's start from from verse 18. We begin at verse 18. Yeah. Then we we take it down to 25. And we go to verse 25. Okay. Praise the Lord. And uh, when when we all know the story, if we, if we start from the beginning, how uh, Elijah went out from from because he have uh, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. I will, I'm going to read for mine. Mm -hmm. And he answered, "I have not troubled Israel, mm -hmm. but thou." Uh, if if you start from verse uh, verse 14 down before that, that that very particular point, the Lord instructed Elijah from where he was hidden, mm -hmm. and he said, "Go show thyself." Mm -hmm. To the king. Amen. And the place where Elias was hiding, he said, "God, take him. Go and go to the king and confront him." So Elijah moved because he he heard from the Lord and he respected the word of God. And Elijah heard from the Lord and he respected the word of God. When he came before the Ahab, Ahab or whatever, however you pronounce it, when he came before Ahab, he saw him. 
En hij zei, oh Elijah, hier you are. En de dienstknecht zei, oh Elia, dus hier ben jij. They, you have been looking for all around the whole world, the continent. Where have you been? Wij hebben jou gezocht over het hele land, maar we konden jou niet vinden. Waar If was you je? know the account, let we don't have much time for me to, to, to go through. But he said, go tell your master that I am around. Amen. Hij zei, zeg tegen je meester dat ik hier ben. To cut the story, so when, when the master came and he saw Elijah, he said, oh here you are, you troublemaker. En hij zei tegen de leer, Agap, oh, dus hier ben jij. Why, why, is, why is he calling uh, uh, Elijah troublemaker? En waarom zei hij tegen de leer, There is a dead revelation in that, in that very particular point. Er is een, When you are a daughter of God, a son of God, mm -hmm. wherever you come, when people who don't, who don't feel your presence, when they see you, they... They don't feel okay. Mm -hmm. Als mensen jou zien, dan zou het zo moeten zijn dat ze je zich niet goed gaan you, voelen. You, 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 you become a, a troublemaker in righteousness. Want je bent een probleemmaker in de rechtvaardigheid. So when, when I have saw a light, he said, you troublemaker, here you are again. Yeah. En toen zei hij tegen Elia, ja, hij is probleemmaker. Elijah replied him and said, and he answered, en I have answered. not troubled Israel, mm. but thou and thy family house, in that ye have forsaken The commandment of the Lord, mm. and that has followed badly. Mm. Now, therefore, stand and gather, therefore, unto Israel, Mount, unto me, Israel, unto Mount Carmel, the prophet of Baal, 450, and the prophet of uh, group 400, which eat Jezebel, which eat at the Jezebel table. So he have sent unto the children of Israel and gathered it, and gathered them of Israel. And gather the prophet together unto Mount Carmel. Mm. And Elijah come unto the people and said, How long hath ye been to opinion? If the Lord be God, follow him. Mm. But if bad, then follow him. Mm. The people answer him not a word. Mm. Brother, we have to look look into this revelation. We mm. moeten deze openbaring gaan kijken. From the word of God, from Genesis to Revelation, every word of God is compound of the revelation of the word. Alles is een openbaring in het woord van God. Van Until the Holy Spirit opens your eye mm -hmm. to see what that particular word represents. Mm -hmm. Pas als de Heilige Geest je ogen opent, dan pas kun je dat begrijpen. You may just become a reader. Je kan iemand zijn die dat alleen maar leest. The scriptures say the letter kill it. Mm. Or the Spirit give it life. Amen. 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 If you don't know the revelation of your word, mm. as you don't know the word, you may be just be reading. Mm. You may be just be reading. When temptation, when challenges come up, and as there are challenges come in your life, just snatch it away from your heart. Can mm -hmm. it from your heart? Because it was there was no root. Mm. Because you never meditate upon it. Mm. You, you never meditate. You never pound upon it. Mm. You never pound upon it. How can we pound upon what we don't even know? Mm. And as you don't, as you as you don't do, then you don't know what you say. In this word here, we can clearly see from the revelation. I have come in the name of the Lord. Uh, mm. Elijah came in the name of the Lord. Mm. And he came in the name of God. And tell Ahab. En zei tegen Agab, Go gather the things you know. Ga alle mensen verzamelen die 450. Ik heb. Ga ze bij elkaar halen. 200. He said, gather them. Let's go to Mount Carmel. Ga de dienstknecht van Baal bij elkaar And let's halen. See who is God. En laten we zien wie God is. Then he said to the children of Israel. En hij zei tegen de kinderen van Israël. How long will it be? Hoe lang zal het zijn? That you have double opinion. Dat je dubbele dubbele gedachten hebt. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters today. Vandaag, we come zussen, before the presence of God. We don't God. even know who we worship. Mm. Mm. Today, today we are in the church. We are in the church. Tomorrow we are in the world. And mm. we are in the world. Today we are in the church. Mm. And we are in the church. Tomorrow we pick up phone and call home. Mm. And morgen bellen we naar huis. And say, Mama, what are you doing? Are you sleeping? Mm. And we ask him, Mama, are you sleeping? Papa, what are you doing? Are you sleeping? Mm. Papa, are you sleeping? Can you go out for me? Mm. 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 Things are not going good. Mm. Mm. Things are not going good. Mm. And Elijah is telling me, "Have here, he's telling the children of Israel." How long will it be for you to have double opinion? If it God be God, serve Him. If it God be Balaam, serve Him. Praise the Lord. And the people they were sleeping, they kept quiet. They don't answer him because they saw the authority in Him. They said not that the authority of Elijah was not Him. It was not Him speaking. It was not Him speaking. Praise the Lord. All right. So as we are going, let's 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 look particularly at, at verse 21. We gaan naar vers 21 specifiek. And the light that came unto all the people mm. and said, How long? How long had he between two opinions? If mm. thou, if the Lord be God, follow him. Mm -hmm. But if Bali, 
then follow him. Yeah. And the people ask him not a word. Yeah. Brethren, it's the right time we, we, we come to our stand and, and proclaim the word of God aggressively. And it's the right time for the word of God aggressively to proclaim. We, we all face with challenges every day. We have every day Our challenges, you can name your own challenges. I can name my own challenges. This might have different face. I have different. Everybody has different challenges. But what do you have to counter your challenges? If you call yourself a believer, and you cannot even remember three scriptures of him. En je kan niet eens drie dingen uit het woord van God uit je hoofd krijgen. Als er nou uitdagingen komen, wat zou je dan zeggen? When you wake up at night, you have a bad dream. And as you in the in the ochtend wakker wordt, je hebt dan hebt dan hele slachten. Do you want to pick up your phone and call your mom at home? Ga je naar je moeder bellen? Or do you just want to stand up and declare what the word of the Lord says? Of ga je het woord van God verklaren op dat moment? Brother and sister. We cannot worship the Lord without knowing what the Lord is. We cannot God not dienen als we niet weten wat God allemaal zegt. People, I I do hear people say, let the will of God be done. Heel veel mensen zeggen, laat de wil van God worden. Do you even know the will of God pertaining your life? Maar weet jij de wil van God in jouw leven? Let the will of God be done. Laat de wil van God. If God wants you to marry, let the will of God be done. Laat de wil van God. Of course, it's the will of God for you to marry. But how are you activating that word for the right time? Hoe ga je voor van God activeren in jouw leven? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So, we, we can clearly see how, how, how Elijah gathered the whole people. We can see that Elijah all the people gathered around him. Then when he gathered them, they, they went before they met Carmel. And they went to the temple of Carmel. He said, okay, today we're going to know whose God is God. And he said, today we're going to know who the true God is. He said to them, you, you guys are much. Jullie zijn met velen. Are we, are we, are we expected to first of all call upon your God? En we willen graag dat jullie eerst je God aanroepen. And answers you. And als jullie antwoorden. We all will worship your God. Dan zullen we allemaal jullie God. But if your God don't answer you. Maar als jullie God niet antwoordt. Then we will worship my God. Dan zullen we mijn God. There is one thing I love about God. En ik vind het zo goed iets wat God loves challenges. God helpt van uitdagingen. God loves in the process whereby you bring this name to challenges. Je moet zijn naam tot een uitdaging brengen. If we look at the account, the account of Nebuchadnezzar. Als we naar Nebuchadnezzar gaan. When he built the tower. Toen hij die toren bouwde. He said everybody has to bow down and worship. Toen zei hij tegen alle mensen: jullie moeten buigen voor dit beeld. We know the brethren of the the Hebrew brethren. En we weten de jongen, de broers uit de Israëlieten. They do respect the king. Ze hadden heel veel respect voor de koning. But when the king made a decree that 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 violated their 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 belief. Maar toen ze werden aangevallen in hun geloof. They stand before the king and say, "You Nebuchadnezzar." Zij zeiden tegen de koning, "Nebuchadnezzar." If 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 you study the scripture, when they didn't call him king Nebuchadnezzar. Ze zeiden niet koning Nebuchadnezzar. They call him his name direct. Ze hebben zijn naam direct. Because they are bringing him to the throne of the Most High. They say, "You Nebuchadnezzar." If he comes to this very particular issue, we will not respect you. Als het op dit punt aankomt, dan zullen wij u niet respecteren. En de bokanen zeggen: "Oké, we will see what this to the of the gods." En to talk to me like this. En de bokanen zeggen: "Ik zal laten zien waarom jullie zo tegen mij spreken." If you don't want to worship this god, we will throw you to this flame. Als jullie mij niet gehoorzamen, dan ga ik jullie in dit vuur gooien. And they told him, "Look, we know the god that we serve." Ah ja ja. En ze zeiden: "Wij weten de god die wij dienen." If you throw us into this flame, he is able to deliver us. Als we ons daar niet voor zijn, dan zullen we deliver us. Als we niet voor hem zijn, dan zullen we deliver us. Als we ons daar niet voor hem zijn, Brethren, that, that is a revelation. Today we are in the world. We are in the world. We are in the world. As a believer, challenges must surely come up. There come challenges in our life. What do you say to your challenges? But what do you say to your challenges? Do you bow down to your challenges? Or do you say to your challenges, I know the God that I serve? Or say, I know the God that I serve. Are you a woman? You don't have a husband. As you're a woman who doesn't have a husband, because you don't have a husband, then you mess up yourself anyhow. And then, why? And the reason that you're a woman. Every man you see, you just like, oh, because I don't have a husband, I'm second class. And then you're a third class woman because you don't have a husband. Are you? Are you a woman? You are expecting the fruit of the womb. And the enemy keeps keeps whispering in your ear, you can never have children. And the devil just says constantly, your ear, and you can't. Then you have to go into the world. Dan moet je naar het woord van God gebruiken. Know what the word says, En je moet het woord van God gebruiken. When you hold the word of the Lord. Als jij het woord van God vasthoudt. The element of the nature will rise up against you. Amen. Dan zullen de elementen van de natuur tegen je opstaan. But be confident of the word. Maar als je gelooft wat het woord van God zegt. Look onto the word day and night. Ga je naar het woord van God dag en nacht. When you look onto you look into the word day and night. En als je kijkt naar het woord van God dag en nacht. The victory is your portion. So the overwinning your portion is. When Nebuchadnezzar looked at them and said, "Okay." 
catching up the flame. Mm -hmm. You see the flame. In the same way, you may be facing one, two, or three problems. Mm -hmm. The more you want to be closer to God, the more the problem is getting worse. The more the problem is getting worse. You go and say, tighten up the flame. And throw them inside. The Bible said, even the man who was pumping the flame to get more increase, God burned up. And the mensen die de vlam omhoog brachten, die werden zelfs verblijvend verbrand. And the three Hebrew children were straight thrown into the fire. And the three uh, Israelites werden in het vuur gegooid. Where the Bokaris are sat, and his official, and his official, he said to them, do we not just throw three men inside this flame? He said to them, we had only three men in the fire. I've seen a fourth man around them. But I see a fourth man by them. Are you facing any problem? Als jij een uitdaging hebt, moet je het probleem niet meer. Get tougher. Hoe groot het probleem is. Start see the glory of God. Start see the manifestation of God's power. Start see God in action. Are you ready for anything? Whenever the element of the nature tells you it cannot be possible, look for the word. Als de element van de natuur zegt dat het niet mogelijk is, kijk naar God. Want je kan namelijk nooit van Hem horen als je niet spreekt. Je moet in de geest zijn. He is not human being. It is geen. It is not flesh. It is geen. He don't have blood. So the best way you can talk to him is through the word. Het het beste om deze geesten aan te vallen is door het woord van God. Because the Lord said, say praise my name. En wat God zegt, praise my name. Pay your vows. Bring your offers. Call upon me in the days of trouble. En roep mij aan in de dagen van trouble. It is my delight to deliver you. Want ik wil jou naar. So that my name will be glorified. Zodat mijn naam van God zal worden. How how would how would God be glorified if there is no Testimony. Who can God verhoogd worden als er geen bewijzen zijn? He said, I am the Lord. Want hij zegt, ik ben God. I delight in mercy. Amen. Ik ga jullie redden. He don't, he don't delight in trouble. Hij gaat jullie redden. So when you are going through trouble, don't don't say, has God left me? En je gaat niet zeggen van, heeft God mij verlaten? Before I I I came to 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 dedicate myself to God, I I used to live a life of. I will know God this week. Next week, I just I give up again because of some certain challenges. For him, later I as God. But if the problem was, then did I God lose? But every time I see I run away from trouble. But every time as I from the problem I ran away from. Trouble never ran away from me. Ging de problemen gingen nooit weg van mij. They keep pushing me. Ze kwamen constant terug. So I come to a point I say no. Dus ik kwam op een punt en ik zei nee. If I have to know God, let me know God. Als ik God moet kennen, laat me dan God kennen. God spoke to me clearly. En God sprak tot mij heel duidelijk. Now you know your right. En nu je je rechten kent. Exercise your right. Dan moet je ze ook uitoefenen. And see the manifestation of my power. En als je de manifestatie van mijn kracht ziet. I thought I was dreaming. En ik dacht dat ik droomde. I start practicing it. Maar ik sta, ik begon te practiceren. I said, God, I was born a Muslim. Ik zei, God, ik ben geboren als een moslim. How do I do? I go to theology school. Moet ik naar een theologische school gaan? Before I worship you. Do I go to school, Biblical school? Must I go to Bible school? He said no. He said God, no. He said the day you accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I have deposited my part of ownership in you. I bless you. I say to you, my words that are written, they are revelation. I receive to whoever I will, whether theology or not theology. Theology or not theology. I can build you on my soul. Amen. Laat groeien door mijn geest. Breed, let, let us not be scared of God. Laat God niet bang zijn voor uitdagingen. God is love. Want God is liefde. I, I, I am privileged to be a father now. Ik ben een vader nu. With a little son. En ik heb een kleine zoon. I can imagine when I wake up in the night. En als ik wakker word in de nacht. I look at him. Kijk ik naar hem. My whole heart is, I feel joy. Dan ben ik blij. So somebody tells me if you can feel joy for this your little son. Dus niet zeg als ik blij zou hebben voor deze kleine jongen. Don't you think I also feel joy and love for you as well? Zal God dan ook geen liefde voor mij hebben? Then I come to a point. Ik kwam ook op een punt. Nothing seems meaningless to me anymore. Niets is meer zinloos voor mij. Everything to me is is meaningless. Alles om mij heen is zinloos. Before I knew God, when I read Revelation 12:11. Voordat ik over mij las. They overcome you by the blood of the Lamb. By the word of their testimony. And by the word of their testimony. And by the word of their testimony. And they even consider their life unto death. And I cannot imagine how will somebody not consider his life unto death. Hoe kan iemand zich niet druk maken over zijn leven tot aan de dood? I start pondering over that scripture over and over. And ik ben dat gaan mediteren over. I ask the Holy Spirit, teach me this word. And ik heb de Heer geest vraag van leer me dit woord. When those men want to die, they don't see the death they want to die. They see the glory ahead. Amen. Then I said, okay. 
That means even when the believer wants to die, he shouldn't look at what, what's going on. Yeah. Look at what is going on. It's like uh, an athlete. Mm -hmm. You are running. You are running for a goal. Amen. There is a gold medal waiting for you. That is true. So that will give you the motivation to mm. move faster. And this was a bit loud. So as you are going to run, then you will die. If there was nothing for you, aim me. Nobody will run. So if it was not to earn, to get, to get the medal, then you will not hard lopen. The scripture said. And the Bible says. I did not call the house of Jacob. Ik heb het huis van Jacob niet geroepen. To worship me in faith. Om 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 mij zo maar te bidden. If you know the Lord. Als je, de, als je God kent, you hold his word, mm -hmm. en je houdt zijn woord vast, you will come out victorious. Amen. Dan kom je uit in een overwinning. If we look into the Bible, we saw so many men and women God used. We hebben zoveel mannen en vrouwen gezien in de Bijbel. Most of the women they were buried from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Heel veel vrouwen die konden geen kind krijgen. Even van the your kind. mates said you can never have an issue, you can never have children. Sommige mensen konden nooit kinderen krijgen. But they brought their challenges before God. Maar ze brachten hun uitdagingen voor het aangezicht van God. They hold the word of God. Ze hielden het woord van God vast. At the end of it, at the end of it all. En op het op het einde. The name of God was glorified. Hallelujah. Was de naam van God verhoogd. I don't know what you are facing today. Ik weet niet waar jij doorheen gaat vandaag. But we should hold the word of God. Maar we zouden het woord van God vast moeten houden. Today we have we have prayed, we have we have watched it. Vandaag hebben we gebeden en we hebben aangebeden. And the scripture clearly said, clearly stated. En het was duidelijk gezegd. He praise me. Praise me, zegt God. When you praise the Lord, you are having a problem. And you have a problem. After you finish praising Him, say God. Na dat je hem hebt gebeden. If you take away this reproach from me, neem dit van mij weg. This is what I will bring to you. Ik breng dit probleem voor u aangezicht. That is what God loves. En dat is wat God goed vindt. God said, okay, now you have brought me to a test. Nu heb je mij op een test. I will prove to you. En ik zal, ik zal jou. That I'm more than that. Amen. Ik zal je bewijzen dat ik meer dan dat. Praise me. Make your vow. They call upon me in the days of trouble. The trouble you will call upon me is the thing you are going through today. Hallelujah. When you call upon him, he said he will deliver you. Because that is his delight. To show his power and his strength. So that his name may be glorified. So that his name may be glorified. If you look at the account of what we are just going through, after the prophet of Baal, they call upon the God from money. Nothing turns up. And they have tried to bow to God. And Elijah stand up and say, God, if you are God, if I am acting according to your word, send that fire from heaven. And the Lord sent fire. And the Lord sent fire. Was the name of God glorified? And the people who gather, who we are having here or there, they stand and say, No, there is no God. And the people who first came to see that at that moment there is only one God, and that is the God of Israel. Brothers and sisters, in that account, there is something we want to share. If we go to First Kings 19, we are going to First Kings 19, from verse 1 to verse 3. From verse 1 to verse 3. Brethren, the Holy Spirit is telling us here that after your victory. Na je overwinning. You can go through it, but I'm just going to give the revelation of the world. Dan zal ik je een overwinning. After your victory of any challenges. Na je overwinning op een uitdaging. Don't be surprised that don't don't think that the enemy they are going home and relax. Denk maar niet dat dan de 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 vijand. They will go and reinforce. They will go and reinforce the cost. Ze zullen meer to attack you in whatever way. Ze zullen meer uitdagingen naar je toe. But how do you handle it? Maar hoe ga je daar op dat moment mee om? If you look, if you look, if you look at the scripture, and they have told Jezebel all that Elijah has done, and with her, how he has slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a message. Listen, verse two. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, "So let the God do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of one of them by tomorrow by this time." Look at verse 3. And when he, who is he there? Elijah. Elijah. And when he saw that, brethren, let's let your spouse and look at that word. Laten we goed naar dit deel van de Bijbel kijken. Ahab went home and told his wife. Ahab heeft zijn vrouw Jezebel. We all know who Jezebel is. Jezebel is demon incarnation in human. Ahab went to tell her, said, look, another man with another different power has come today. 
He has manifested another kind of power. The people of Israel, they want to talk to him now. De Israëlieten die hebben zich teruggekeerd naar God en ze volgen nu Elia. En de demon in Jezebel begon En de de demon in Jezebel begon op te staan. It's like a man, a man or woman went to the hospital. Het is net als een vrouw of een man die naar het ziekenhuis gaat. The doctor diagnoses you. De dokter zegt van je bent je bent cancer. They say oh we 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 diagnose cancer. En uh, we zeggen tegen jou, uh, de diagnose is kanker. These are the words from the pit of hell. Dit zijn de dingen van de put van de hel. These are the children of Jezebel. Dit zijn kinderen van Jezebel. They can come in any form. Ze kunnen op een andere manier verschijnen. They can come in barrenness. They can come in poverty. They can come in stagnation. They can come in retardation. They can come in near success syndrome. In whatever way they come. Ze kunnen op alle andere manieren. Your reaction to how you receive the matters. Maar het hangt ervan af hoe jij daarop reageert. Listen to verse three. When the message get to 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 Elijah, when the message from Elijah was sent, the Bible didn't say he hear it. The Bible said he saw it. He saw it. What did Elijah saw? What saw Elijah? The message was sent to him. There was a message from Elijah. Somebody carry message to him. Iemand bracht een boodschap aan hem. Why did the scripture not say Elijah saw it? Why does the Bible now say Elijah saw it? Here the revelation is be careful, brethren. Hier is de boodschap, broers. Ah, you hear your word. Dus ze hoort en weet voorzichtig wat je hoort. The scripture said. Want de 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 schrift zegt. The power of life and death. De kracht van leven en dood. Lies in our tongue. Is in onze tong. When you speak death with it. Wanneer je dood met het spreekt. The angels of death they manifest. De een engel van de dood. When you speak life with it. Wanneer je je leven spreekt. The angels of life they manifest. Dus de engel van het leven. Jezebel has declared death. Isabel sprak dood. And the angels of death they move. And the angels of death. Elijah saw the angels of death. And he said, No, I cannot stand us. And and Elijah said, I cannot stand us. The demons, the fear, the demons of angst. They are come, they come his mind. Come his thoughts. And he flew. And he flew. When you go to verse four. As you go to verse four. When Elijah moved with his 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 bodyguard. When he was with his servant. He come to a place. Come he to a place. He said to his servant, "Stay here, brethren. We believers. Sometimes we encounter trouble. Sometimes we have problems. We have friends. We have friends. But what will the enemy do for us? What to do? This he separates you from your friend. He is going to destroy your life. Because he knew by the time you are with your friend, a fellow believer, who you offend, 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 who you His name was not mentioned, but he was Gehazi. Elisha, Gehazi was the king of Elia at that moment. And he said, "Stay aside." And he said, "And he went on his own." Ga aan de kant, wacht. The moment he left the presence of his servant, toen hij uit de different thoughts that came in his mind. Toen hij uit de aanwezigheid ging van deze dienstknecht, kwam er andere gedachten. He said, "Oh God." Hij zei, "Oh God." Kill me. How can a man who just destroyed 450 prophets? Who can it say that Elia did not come to a point that said God destroyed me? Said to God, "Vernietig my life." Are you not wondering? Vraag je dat niet af hoe dat kan? That to tell you. That to tell you. The word that left Jezebel's mouth. The words that out of Jezebel's mouth came. I don't know how to put the word. They they were encoded with demonic forces. They were full of demonic forces. It's today. You hold to the word of God. As you hold to God fast, the element of nature get loose. The elements of the nature, they can't hold on. Every day you see yourself not going forward. Every day that you see that you're not going forward. Then you see the believer pull out. And that you the belief of you pull out. He don't come to church anymore. And that you're not going to church anymore. He don't even speak to his spiritual father, spiritual mother anymore. That you're not going to his spiritual father, spiritual mother anymore. The enemy will tell you that God never answers prayer. Dan zal de David wel zeggen dat God niet bij je beantwoordt. God wil never take care of you. Hij zal zeggen dat God niet op jou past en niet van jou houdt. Dat is een lie. Dat is een leugen. But that is the only thing he has come to do. Dat is het enige wat hij kwam doen. To kill. Om te om te moorden. And to destroy. En om te vernietigen. For Christ has given us one assurance. Maar God heeft ons gezegd. I have come. Verzeker. That you may have life. En hij zegt ons in. Ik geef jullie leven in overvloed. Brothers and sisters. Broers en zussen. There is only one advice I can give. Ik kan jullie maar één advies geven. I told God one thing. Ik heb God één ding gezegd. I said God. God. 
If you want to use me in your kingdom. Als u mij wilt gebruiken in uw koninkrijk. I don't want to stand in your pulpit. Dan wil ik, ik wil liever niet staan daar op dit plek waar ik nu sta. To give testimony of another man. En ik wil geen nou, geen getuigenis geven van. Let me stand allemaal. in your pulpit. Laat ik daar staan. And let the people see the, mag the manifestation of your testimony in my life. En laat ze de manifestatie van uw getuigenis in mijn leven zien. If you, if, you, if, you, if you read the account of Joshua, Als je het verhaal van Joshua leest, after the death of his master, na de dood van zijn meester, the children of Israel followed him. They were not respecting him. Ze respecteerden Joshua helemaal niet, maar ze volgden hem. When it comes to a point, God said today, maar God zei op een dag, I will magnify myself in Ik zal mezelf verhogen in jou. That the children of Israel, zodat de kinderen van Israël jou zullen respecteren. Brethren, if you are looking for respect physical, als jij voor respect zoekt. As it will not come. Dan zal het niet komen. As the Lord will magnify Himself. Laat God zich manifesteren in jou. Today we 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 all struggle one thing and the other. We gaan door heel veel dingen heen. If you don't ask the God, if you don't ask the Lord to open your eye. Maar als je niet God vraagt om je ogen te openen. To see the root to the problem of that thing. Om de wortel te zien waar die problemen vandaan komen. You may just be wandering around. Je zal je misschien hele wereld gaan. God said to Joshua. Maar God zei tegen Joshua. He said today. Vandaag. I will roll away the reproach of the Egyptians from your shoulder. And the Lord is telling somebody here today, you have come here with one thing or the other. But the Lord is declaring it. He said today, not tomorrow, He is going to roll away that reproach from you. So be open to receive. Very soon our mother and the Lord will be coming to the pulpit. Be open. Don't allow the deception of the enemy to steal away your victory. Laat de duivel niet toe om jouw vreugde te te stelen. The children of Israel they were the land of Canaan for so many years. De Israëlieten waren zo lang in het land van Canaan al. They were provision all around them. Er was alles voor hen geregeld. But the 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 lies of the enemy blind them. Maar de duivel en de zwarte wolk. But the Lord declared that I will roll away the reproach of the Egypt from you. Terwijl God had gezegd, ik zal alles van je weghalen. The Bible said the food they ate yesterday was not the food they ate today. And for that they all were they start to enjoy the the victory and the provision of that land. En toen ze dat gingen horen van God. My sister and brother, I don't know what you have carried. But say to your spirit today, the Lord will roll away my reproach. I will start to enjoy my spirit life today. I will start to enjoy the call of God in my life. Whatever that, whatever that has stand as a mountain, the Lord is able. Alles wat er als een berg voor je staat, de Schrift zegt, unto Him who is able to do. Abundantly, exceedingly, above all, we can, we can ask, we can even think according to the power that is our work in us. Some believers don't even know which power is our work in us. If you don't even know the power that is our work in you, how can somebody curse you? How can somebody curse you? And you get scared. When the scripture said the power of life and death is in your tongue. Mm. The, the kracht van leven en dood is in jouw tong. If you look at the account of, of, of David and Goliath. Mm. As you see the naar het verhaal van David and Goliath. It was Goliath who first of all started to curse. Mm. Goliath was aan het vloeken. Mm -hmm. David was silent. Mm -hmm. And David was still. After he finished cursing. Mm -hmm. David knew who he is. is. Wist David wie hij was? Then David said, okay, you have finished. En toen zei David, ben je klaar? Did David quiet? He calls him back. He said today, they will know that there is God in this land. Brethren, I'm telling you today, you will know that there is a God that rules. There is a God that cleans reproach. There is a God that restores. There is a God that makes a way where there is no way. What is that problem before you? Let's bring it before the Lord. Brethren, we are going to pray. We are going to pray one prayer Amen. as I bring my sermon to close. Amen. We all know the account of the, 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 the Israelites when they sin against the Lord. Amen. The Lord step back from them. Mm -hmm. He never go far, but He just step back to teach them a lesson. God stepped back from the Israelites to learn a lesson. They went before battle. And they went before battle. 
and the ark of the Lord. They were defeated, and the ark of the Lord was taken by the Philistines. The ark of the Lord represents the presence of God. And the scripture says, The day you accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I have put my mark of ownership in you. Now you are God property. Don't allow the enemy to lie. Don't allow the enemy to deceive you. are God property. When I have, when this thing is mine, my mark is there. Anyway, it is, I say, it is that brother's fault. Amen. You are God's property. Amen. When the ark of the Lord was stolen or was taken by the Philistines, they were bragging, they took the ark of the Lord to the shrine of Dagon. Mm. And the scripture said, the, the presence of the Lord made life miserable mm. for their God Dagon. Amen. And the Lord is telling me to tell you tonight. And the Lord is going to make life miserable God to whatsoever whatever that belongs to you has been kept. Mm. Is it your happiness? Mm. Is it your head? Mm. Is it your weight? Mm. Whatever you are, whatever is your will, whatever is your desire, wherever it is be kept, mm. whosoever, whoever, anything, mm. the Lord is going to make it miserable to them tonight. Misery in the life of people that with this you will know that there is a God that will so that yes, you yeah. Yeah. God is. Brand, let, let's, let's stand up for this prayer let's stand up for this prayer amen amen, amen. amen.